Hello and welcome to today's video where I show you all my Lichtlamp pedals and how I use them. So first of all we start with all my old Lichtlamp pedals and we already start with my, one of my most favorite pedals of the year 2021. It's the Amber Spyglass. This is a 4-band EQ with an additional boost and I really really like this pedal in front of a driven amp. I use this primarily as a solo boost and I used it on Nightbearer's recent record Ghosts of the Darkness to come. Yeah, the sound is awesome. However, I partic didn't particularly like this pedal in the FX loop for whatever reasons. Maybe I haven't tried enough. So yeah, uh, these days this pedal actually doesn't get much use, but you will understand in a minute why that's the case. Next up is the Trugbild. This one is a chorus pedal and it's a really subtle chorus effect. I really like it on clean guitars and I use it for practicing. I haven't used it for reamping purposes because I prefer my chorus uh, if it if my chorus is synced to the song's tempo, but I might try this in the future. Next up we have the Gehenna. This is Lichtlärm's distortion pedal. And I use this basically every time when I play with some practice amp because it really gives me a nice fat distortion sound. It has lots of options. You can really tweak the sound. This one also has a boost control. And I think Lichtlärm has announced a version 2 of this yesterday. At least something with gold hardware. Uh, with gold artwork. I'm not sure if it's changed in the wiring or so. Apart from that, I prefer it in front of a clean amp, not in the FX loop. I think it's missing some treble here. And yeah, that's the Gehenna. And the last of my old Lichtlärm pedals is the Breathe Die. This is Lichtlärm's try on the Boss HM2 sound. And this is packed full of features. We have a boost, we have uh, a fixed loop, we have a blend, we have even an expander that acts kind of like a noise gate. We have well, a couple different options to really get the chainsaw the way you like. The chainsaw isn't as close to the original as I personally would have liked it to be, but <laughs> that's of course no problem because I have plenty other options. So this pedal I use whenever I want to have a really different HM2 flavor or whenever I want to show that uh, if anyone says the Grindstein is the ultimate HM2 pedal, I show them this and some couple other, other pedals and tell them, well, nope, this one is actually better. I actually prefer this over the Grindstein, to be honest. And fairly recently, I got three of Lichtlärm's new version 2 pedals that I really like. And let's start with the Esa Hatter. This is a boost pedal with a four band EQ. I use this in front of a driven amp and well, it just makes everything sound metal. I use this on reamping jobs. I used this in my recent production that I'm doing for another band and just sounds awesome. It's, it's a really good alternative to a Tube Screamer or if you want a, a Tube Screamer-ish sound. So this one I heavily use. Then we have the Lichtlärm Ritual or Ritual as we say in German. I don't know how Daniel wants it to be called. This is basically a red pedal on steroids and as you might know I like red pedals. I even run a parallel red HM2 uh, pedal setup kind of pedal setup live for some time. And uh, this one works really well as a classic distortion pedal in front of a clean or broken up amp. 
And I also used this in the recent production as a main distortion sound. And yeah, it just has all the tweaking options. You can really dial in this uh, ritual as you want it and it doesn't have the funky behaviors of the original red control layout. Just sounds good, stays clean. Highly, highly recommend this pedal if you're a fan of red style distortions. And here we have the Amber Spyglass version two. This pedal, actually it's funny because here version one again and I said that this is one of my favorite pedals to use in front of uh, in front of an amp and this one actually not <laughs> because I uh, highly prefer this one in the FX loop of an amp because with this uh, five band EQ uh, with an additional uh, sweepable mid control here you can really get into kind of mark four Mark V EQ style territories, which I really like. And you can really tweak the amp to your likings, uh, do subtle changes or alter the sound heavily. And that's why I use this pedal almost exclusively in the FX loop of my real tube amps whenever I might uh, wanna have some bass. And again, as with all the version two pedals, I use it heavily and quite often. Whereas I have to admit, the version one pedals don't get this much love yet. Might should change it. So that's my collection so far. As you might know, or maybe not, I'm kind of a Lichtlärm artist and uh, therefore I will most probably get some more Lichtlärm pedals in the future. And of course I will let you know with some reviews and maybe I'll add some to the collection or Maybe not, if I don't like them. Uh, anyways, let me know down in the comments uh, what Lichtlein pedals do you own or what do you think is still missing in my collection? Just leave a comment. Oh, and if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. Uh, your Audiority is actually having a Black Friday sale, I think. 50% off everything. Do you have the Solidus 8100 yet? And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Instagram. May the force be with you and have a nice day.